With 2020 winding down, I think it's time we talked about the future of gaming. I'm sure you've all seen the headlines by now, things like 8K gaming, consoles will be running at 120 frames per second, Xbox Series X is launching with thousands of games, and even PS5 being 100 times faster than the PS4 being on the same level as a high-end CPU. But if I'm being completely honest, I get the feeling most of these are just marketing buzzwords and things may have leveled off and we're just struggling to accept it. Hello everyone, my name is Victor and welcome back to the Height Above Sea Level Gaming Channel. Today we're talking about whether gaming has finally reached a plateau and if it's something that's gonna be staying like that for a little while. But before I go on, please follow me on Twitch at Height Above Sea Level. I stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays, mostly playing Apex Legends now and Overwatch if the servers allow. And remember to like and subscribe if you find this video meaningful. But moving on, why do I think gaming has finally reached a plateau? Well, like I said, it's not as revolutionary as it was in the previous jumps like looking at PlayStation 4 to the PlayStation 5. The graphics don't look as stunning as it did when you're saying switching from the PS3 to PS4. And I know you can't really tell the difference in graphics from a computer where a computer is probably 60 frames per second and you can't really see the HDR. But yes, it's, still be, it's going to be something that people will appreciate, just not immediately and the jump is not as huge. I remember back from the PS2 to the, to the PS3, it felt so good to just look at the models, 3D models without the sharp edges, you know, you remember like Carl Johnson in San Andreas and his hands are always glued together. <laughs> At the time, it, was, it didn't bother me, it was actually more funny than anything, but being able to see dynamic fingers moving around and being able to see the water reflecting the way it did in games like Uncharted, that to me was huge. But from the PS4 to the PS5, I doubt we'll be seeing something as big as that. Another reason why I think gaming might have finally reached a plateau is gamers now are much more accustomed to high quality and sometimes may even come off as entitled and ungrateful. Most of us who've been here since PlayStation 1 can at least appreciate where our gaming has come from and we can say that you know, back in the day, things weren't as good as they are now and when the developers come up with something we can say, oh, this is a good attempt. But you see the gamers of today, kids born in 2000, 2004, those people who are around 16 to 18, even 20 years old and they've come up at a time when gaming is already a little bit more established and the quality and expectations are much much higher so seeing the PS4 to PS5 jump, Xbox One to Xbox Series X might not be as enticing to them or as exemplary as they expected. And just looking at the Unreal Engine reveal, most gamers won't really fully understand what Nanite and Lumen and Limitless Geometry or Dynamic Lighting means, they just want to play. And this isn't a jab to the developers and the people who are making these games because I know to them that is something that is actually might be groundbreaking and would definitely make their work easier but for the gamers that's really not what they're looking for. Most people won't really go as deeply into the game's creation to wonder how, oh, did they make do this to make this lighting look like this? Do they do this to make this look that way and play like this? No, most gamers aren't really that interested in the back end of the development. They just want the game and looking at how things are right now, yes, it's beautiful, but just the gamers as a whole, is it gonna be enough for them? Which brings me to my next point that PS4 and the Xbox One raised the bar incredibly high when it came to graphics with games like Ghost of Tsushima, Forza Horizon 4, Gears 5 and even Uncharted 4. These are games that I can say blew me away. I was taken aback just looking at the graphics and the reflections and even when you're playing. Just look at Uncharted 4 the way it transitions seamlessly from cutscene to gameplay. It's beautiful. With such a bar like this one, it's really hard to beat it when you're coming to the PS5. And the question is what else can you do to improve from this? The graphics are great already. Maybe just make real people in the games, but then that it wouldn't be a game, It'd be a movie that you a movie that you can interact with or something. You know, just have a human being with a little marker on his head, like in FIFA. But I digress. Moving on to the PC side, the biggest question again is what more can they do? The difference between 144 FPS and 240 FPS has turned out to be quite minimal. Even players like Shroud who went and tested this with Linus Tech Tips, they said the biggest difference was between 60 Hz and 144. And between 144 and 240, that's minuscule. Furthermore, it doesn't seem all that feasible to choose a 2080 Ti over a 1080 Ti just so you can enjoy ray tracing. 
is it really worth the extra money? If you look at Minecraft and how they're promoting it with ray tracing as something revolutionary, in my opinion, that's really not the game that you want to be using to promote ray tracing because Minecraft, the way it is right now, it's just, it's already a simple looking game. So of course, ray tracing would make it more visually appealing. You can do the same thing with texture packs and applying some shaders. So I don't think Minecraft was the best choice for ray tracing. The other games they showcased with ray tracing really didn't blow me away. They they already looked great without ray tracing and ray tracing like in shadow of the tomb raider yes the edges look sharper to be honest it wasn't something i would spend the extra money for i just get a 1080 ti over a 2080 ti that begs the question no it doesn't beg the question but well it shows that we're getting to a point where gaming is starting to level off what more can we do is there anything else left to do is there any mouse that you can make better is there we already have 4k and 60 fps and where do you go from there? But what about VR? VR is a great idea, but it's still not as immersive as it could be to draw in more players. And I say this because when I look at the VR demos and some of the games they have out, it has potential, but it's not quite there yet. It's not as fluid as I would like it to be, it still looks a bit buggy, the characters and the models. I'd wish it was something of a more full body experience rather than just your head and your ears. If you could have even a whole chamber so that you can feel the temperature outside, if it's cold you feel the temperature outside, if you get hit you can throw something at you, not, not rubber bullets, but just something that can let you know that you got hit in your leg or you got struck by something. Anything along those lines. But if I'm being honest again, I think VR future is in movies. Just imagine being in an Iron Man movie where to your right you have Robert Downey Jr. and Samuel L. Jackson on your left and you can look at them and you can have a 360 degree view of what's going on around you and the developers, the creators of the movies can add things like filters just to make it more immersive. I think that's where the future of VR is because if you can do that with a movie, movies, everyone watches movies, that would blow up and go mainstream and the beauty of that is that you can divert some of that influx of people into gaming because now the difference between gaming and movies is gaming, you actually control your character and you decide where the game goes and you, if you create your character you can mod them with all these fancy stuff and they can even go a step further to include weapons and different trick i think they're called triggers those things you hold so that if you're holding a heavy weapon it becomes heavier just to make it a little more immersive for the player that's where i think vr will shine if it's somewhere along the along the line in the future you can do something like that i believe vr is where we'll see the biggest leap when it comes to gaming but does that mean gaming won't improve? Absolutely not. It just won't be as revolutionary. There's a lot more still to come with games like Cyberpunk 2077 and Dying Light 2 on their way either this year or next year. But for sure, I believe VR is where the, the magic will happen. Regardless of what the future looks like, we've definitely come a long way and that's something we can't take for granted, especially those of us who've been here since the 90s. This is what prompted me to make another video called Two Video Games That Defined a Childhood EA Should You Make and I've linked that on the top of the screen so you can check that out and let me know what you think about it. What do you guys think? Do you think we've plateaued? Do you think we have reached a point where it's a question of is there anything left? Do we have more to look forward to? Is it just going to be the same thing packaged in a different label and given to us saying oh this is new and improved but yet it's the same thing? Let me know in the comments below and also be sure to check out my Twitch again at height above sea level and remember to subscribe and like the video for more it really helps out if you like the video. That's all I had for you guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one and as always from me to you deuces.